In this session, we discuss formatting options of the WordPress posting screen. Now, as we learned in a previous session, to start a new post in WordPress, we'll go to the left sidebar under Posts and click Add New. And when we do that, this is a screen we're going to get. Here's where our post title is going to be, and here's where the body of our post is. This is the section we're going to discuss today. First of all, if you open this up and you see only the first line of options here, you want to go to this very last icon here and click on it. This is called the kitchen sink, and it's going to open up a lot of other options underneath. One of the things you're going to notice right off the bat is that many of these options or icons look like typical word processing features, and indeed they are. So that if we highlight text and we click on these, it's going to format them just like it would in a word processor. We could bold, italicize, strike through, underline. We can also highlight that text and undo those features by clicking on those icons again. And we can also select several lines of text, turn them into a bulleted list or a numbered list. And we can also create what's called a block quote. Now a block quote takes text and separates it from the rest of the body of the post so that it's clearly a quote. You want to do this, say, when you're quoting other bloggers or news, news sources. Now just like with word processors, we can align our text differently. We can left align it using these keys here, left align, center, or right align. And we can also fully justify it using this icon right here. Now these two options here are what we actually use to embed links within the body of our post. So that if we highlight text and we click on this little link here, what we're doing is we're making this text now a clickable link to a specific URL. So we're going to put a link URL in here. That's where it's going to link to. Then we're going to give it a title. And you always want to make certain that you do give it a title because that's best for search engine placement. So now this becomes a clickable bit of text to that particular URL. OK, now the next button up there is called the More tab. And the More tab, what that does is, I know you've probably read blog posts where you've read a couple of paragraphs, and then you have a link that says, read the rest of the entry here. And so that's what this does. This actually inserts that link so that people can click on it and go and read the rest of the post. So if we click on that, we get a little tab here that says More. So that when the reader is looking at the post on the home page, they'll see this much of it. And then there will be a link here that says Read the rest of the post. And then they'll, they'll be taken to a page where they can read the rest of it. This button here allows us to translate into different languages. This is a toggle key that makes it full screen or back to the original view. We already know about the kitchen sink button. Now here's one of my favorite features, and these are pre-formatted styles that we can apply to our text. We, can, we have different headings, for instance, heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, that we can apply to the body of our text or the body of our post. Now, these the way these are formatted or styled depends on your theme. So each theme has a, a different set of how they formatted the headers so that they'll actually look nice with the rest of your theme. So these are not consistent from theme to theme. So that was is what the header 1 is going to look like. And then if we highlight this, we can see a header 2. We already know about underline and justify, but we can also highlight text and change the color. Uh, these two buttons here are actually pretty important if you're going to be importing text. If you want to import text from, from a text file, a TXT file, say from WordPad or Notepad, then you would copy it, and then you would paste it in this area, and then you would click Insert. Similarly, for something that's coming from a Word document. You want to copy it from the Word document, paste it in here, and then click Insert. And this is important so that you don't get too many formatting options pulled over from different 
um, different word processors. Now if you do have some formatting tabs or formatting issues, one thing that you can do is highlight your text and click on this button here which is to remove the formatting. This button here is for inserting custom characters, just like with a word processor. You can select a custom character and insert it. And this is an indent key. We can highlight some text and we can indent it or we can put it back, clicking the other way. This is an undo and this is our help key. Now, this is called the visual view on WordPress and what this does is it gives us a pretty good idea of how the text or the post is going to look like when it's published. If we click on the HTML view however what we'll see is the actual HTML of that blog post. So when we're formatting our the text within our post we're actually giving it HTML tags. So what this is going to show us the HTML view or the, what the resulting HTML of how we just formatted it. So remember we highlighted this text here and we gave it a header 1. That means it's going to be tagged with the H1 of a header 1 tag. Similarly for this the subhead which we gave a header 2, we also gave it a color. Uh, here is where we actually highlighted text and have it linked to Plum Web Solutions. So that's what this tag is, is the A tag and then the reference or where it's actually going to go to is here. And then this is what a list, the numbered list of the bulleted list that we just created looks like. And then if we keep going down we see the block quote and then we can also see the more tab here. So if we go back to our visual view and if we want to actually take a look at what the post is going to look like before we publish it, we'll click Preview. And now we can take a look at what, at what the post is going to look like once it's published. This is going to be a link to Plum Web Solutions, so if we click on that it's going to take us there. And there's the title that we entered. It shows as a rollover. Now we're not going to see the, the uh, more tab here yet because it needs to be published and we need to visit it on the home page to see that. So if we close that out and then we click publish we want to go view the post as it actually is look like as it's, it's going to look on the site now it's actually been published so what we can do is go to the home page and where we're going to see that more tag is when we see this post in a list with the other posts like on the home page or on the blog page of your site. And so there's our tab right here where it says continue reading and here's going to be the rest of the post. It's actually going to start it from where we inserted the more tag and then we can scroll up to see the rest of it post. And that concludes our tutorial